Oh, hey, you're here. I wasn't really expecting you to be here so early. Hey, what's that look for? Okay, so I'm a bit late. But you know I like to be at least a little late to these things. You know, to build the suspense a little. And it's not like you were any better. You were always late when you were pretending. Well, yeah, I guess you do have a point there. I'm sorry. There's just a lot to get used to actually dating someone I care for. It's just a bad habit from my time with Todd. I promise. No more coming to our dates late. Also, sorry if I sounded a bit snarky there. It's kind of a defense mechanism, thanks to having to act rude to everyone all the time. Honestly, being with someone as nice as you is kind of a culture shock for me. Although, I do have to ask, why did you ask me to come to this random spot in the outskirts of the city? I could barely find this place on my GPS and there doesn't seem to be much of anything out here. So, why here of all places? Huh? Uh, is that a blindfold? I mean, sure, I guess I can wear it, but you better not take me anywhere weird, alright? Okay, lead the way. Alright, now we're moving. I'm starting to get a little nervous now. If I'm being honest, I mean, this is basically my first real date, considering I barely did anything with Todd, even when we did go out. It makes me feel kinda giddy, I guess you could say. Oh, and also because I can't really see where I'm go- oh. Right? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Looks like I tripped. No, 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 um, I'm fine. Just wasn't expecting to climb a hill like this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should just take off the blindfold so I don't hurt myself. You okay with that? You've got a better idea? And what's... Wait, wait, what, what are you... Whoa. You scared me. I wasn't expecting you to just pick me up like that. If there's one thing I can be certain of now, is you're definitely not the complete shut-in I thought you were. I doubt anyone would want to bully you anymore, now that you're this strong. Oh, we've stopped? Well, I guess you have to put me down now. Though I kinda wish you didn't have to. Hey, I didn't say anything. God, just put me down already. So this means I can take off the blindfold now, right? Alright, but I've got high hopes, so try not to dis- I- No, 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 it's not that I'm disappointed. It's actually the opposite. It's just that this view of the city, it's breathtaking. What is this place, if you don't mind me asking? It's your quiet place? For when we went too far? Well, <laughs> that only makes too much sense. I'm sure even someone like you has his limits. Thank you for trusting me with this place. It means a lot. So, what's the plan? <laughs> you got anything special up here? Whoa. No way. You made a picnic for us? All by yourself? Damn. You've really planned all this out, didn't you? I'm impressed. <laughs> no, don't apologize because you couldn't afford some fancy restaurant. Honestly, I'm glad you didn't. I've been getting tired of all these fancy places the popular group went to on daddy's credit card or whatever. Not to mention, I couldn't even afford to go half the time. Because my part-time job pays 
peanuts and I was trying to buy a car at the time. Well, I like things more simple. So this was a great surprise. Why don't we just take a moment to really appreciate the view here as we let the wind go by. You know, speaking of my former friends, have you heard what happened to Todd? <laughs> last I heard, he's been a crying mess since last week. It's good that he finally gets what's happened. But I've been thinking and I think he might deserve an apology. Now, hear me out. <laughs> It definitely won't be about anything that happened last week. For all that, he can go screw himself, but... No, it's about how I treated him when we were together. Something you should know about being popular is that everyone is going to hound you if you're not dating. Oh, Lizzie, if you're one of us, you gotta have a boyfriend. Oh, Eliza, my beloved, please pick me to be your boyfriend. I got so sick of it all, I just picked Todd to get it out of the way. Um... The plan was simple at first, I'd just give him a bit of attention here and there and he'd help me get my reputation up. I didn't actually care about him or anything. He was rude and insensitive, he would be rough with me when we, when we tried to cuddle. It just ugh, it wasn't a good experience. But at least, at first, he actually cared about the relationship, unlike me. I barely let him touch me, let alone kiss me. I started showing up late to our dates because I didn't want to see him any longer than I had to. Oh, point is, even though he hasn't really been a good boyfriend, I was even worse. When I think about it, it almost makes sense that he'd turn on me, you know? So, I just want to apologize to him for not treating the relationship with the basic respect it deserved. I just wish I'd found someone like you before. Reliable, kind, smart. Now that I think about it, I just wish I'd find you before. I doubt there's many people that are the whole package like you, though I guess that was a little hard when our positions forced us to hate each other. Or at least, I was forced to hate you. I doubt it took much for you to hate me. I appreciate the sentiment, but we both know I could be a real hard ass at times. Honestly, I still find it a bit crazy how you forgive me. After all I did to you. I mean, it's one thing to forgive someone, but have at least a bit of self-respect. Honestly, after I ruined that date you had all that time ago, I lost all hope of you even talking to me, let alone helping me. Yeah, I know, tough subject. But I do have to let you know you absolutely dodged a bullet with that one. What am I talking about? Oh boy. <laughs> do I have a story for you? So, Mary, that girl that wanted to give off that girl next door vibe that the boys used to eat right up. There was always something about that girl that just pissed me off. Like, nothing else. But... When I brought her off to my friends, um, to my old friends, they all just brushed me off. Huh? Why? Well, at the time, you were kind of a nobody. Why would someone who was famous for rejecting every guy suddenly ask someone out like you? No, I wasn't jealous. Okay, maybe a bit jealous, but that's absolutely not the point. I sent Megan out to look into her, and lo and behold, pretty little Mary was a pretty little liar. She was working with the popular group to embarrass you. 
as painfully as possible. You already know by now that I didn't like them escalating the bullying, and you probably remember what happened next, right? Yeah, she sure was surprised when someone accidentally broke the lobster tank that was conveniently behind her and got the lobsters all over her dress. Served her, right? Ugh, I remember like it's yesterday. And the picture that was sent to the tabloids was just priceless. Hell, I think she moved after that one. <laughs> that whole story and still able to sympathize with her, huh? Oh, so naive. Now I can see how you were able to forgive me. But you know, that's one of the things I love about you. I like, uh, one of the things I like about you. Um, I meant to say, like, uh, you didn't, um, you didn't hear that last part. Did you? Oh my god. Uh, I can't believe I actually said that. Damn it, Lizzie. You weren't supposed to say it this early. Now he's gonna think you're crazy. Oh. Come on. You know I hate the silent treatment so much. Tell me I'm crazy for saying I love you so early. Just say something. You. You love me too? I don't know what to say. I, you know. The sunset is really beautiful, but I think I'd rather look into your eyes a bit more. Just uh, loosen your grip a little bit, please. Thanks. Jeez. What did I do to deserve an amazing guy like you? <laughs> I treated you like crap, but you're still so amazing to me. <laughs> 